different. A three, a five, a ten. How long would you like this to last, basically? <laughs> How many cards would you like me to draw? Three, five, or ten? <laughs> Seven. Okay. Do you have a question? Ten. It, what what do you want? Seven or ten? Pick one. And think about your question. Alright, so you're getting a five card spread. That's final. No. No, 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 no. No. Five cards. Five cards. And if I feel generous after, I'll give you seven. <laughs> okay, think about your question. Uh, you can tell it to me if you like. Um, it does help me focus on what I'm getting from the cards, so it, it is helpful. You are clearly not picky. You're just indecisive. <laughs> okay, do you have a question? Okay, I'm gonna move my face cam so that I don't have to keep moving. So while you're thinking about a question, you are going to go over here. Sorry, boys and girls. Right. It's a little bit better. Right, question, question. Tell me your question. I don't do what I do, I just put words out and hope they get understood. Okay. One more. pile one two or three Pendulums? Cool. I have a few myself. Okay. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm gonna put you right there. Okay. <clears throat> Move you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the Queen of Owls, which is this card. And then the boy, that card. Which is a lovely card. Then we have the magician. Then Queen of Laughter. Alright, you were kind of all over the place, so this is a little bit all over the place as well. Alright. Um, 
I'm not really getting anything negative. Um, I think this one is pertaining to your ex. He's probably a little bit of a boy. Hello, Duvall. I'm right at the end. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, but I think there's... you. Well, at least on your side, there's something still there. You're wondering what that something is, I think. Um, it really depends on if he has the capacity to change if you bring it up with him, honestly. Um, but you have to kind of use your better judgment to tap into your Queen of Owls. Um, there is some hope, but it, it depends on how things work out, really. Um, if things do work out, um, it can be very positive. The magician is also kind of seen as kind of a trickster-ish, maybe. But I think uh, in this case, it's more that he's adding something a little extra to your life, or the person is adding something extra to your life. Um, and the Queen of Laughter, well... Uh, it, no matter what goes on, I think you're enough as a uh, laid-back person to kind of go roll with the punches. You're kind of the opposite of Stormy, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're taking your own little intuitions from these cards as well. You're let, I'll let you get a, a little better look at each of them, so that you may do that. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot for you to get mad, which is probably why um, the immaturity of your ex doesn't bother you so much. But if you want it to be a good relationship, an equal relationship, then he and you, to some degree, will have to grow up a little bit. You kind of decide what you want to add to people's lives and your own lives as well. Any questions, comments, concerns for me? <clears throat> Probably stay as friends, but too all over the place mental wise. Yeah, uh, to be proper postures partners, I think one of you has to be a little bit more grounded than the other one. Um. Well, the other one can be a little flighty, but still have that equalizing of the other person to help out with that. <laughs> you know, with life. Uh, I need someone like that. I'm way too flighty. Um, but... Moving on from that to these two cards that I just drew, the green man and the rocks. Um, I can kind of see you going a little bit more uh, into your spirituality. In the next year or so. So have fun exploring that. That's always fun. Um, don't be afraid to get rid of things that don't work anymore and take suggestions that things might that might work. You know, just just you know, just do you. <laughs> he married now. We broke up because he felt I could do better because of him being bipolar and his suicide attempt. So, best just to stay as friends. Uh, <coughs> I see. Um, keep in mind that, um, well, yes, uh, mental disorders are nothing to laugh at and you should take them seriously. And you should try to get as much help for those as you can. Well, he does. He should. Um, I generally have a rule. I don't accept um, 
mental disability as a excuse for bad behavior. So keep that in mind, please. Um, is there anything else that you want to bring up that these cards might be startling in you? Um, is there any card that is still drawing your attention that maybe hasn't been addressed or something? Or Yeah, he was hard to walk away from. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, are you still here? Or did you just like come and go? That face at the bottom? The green man? That's one part of the spirituality that I was talking about. Um, he's a forest nature god. Um, he kind of... Um, hard to explain. <laughs> Uh, maybe you need to introduce a little bit more um, masculine energy into whatever sp religion, spiritual aspects. I'm not saying patriarchy or, or God, but the masculinity in yourself that you need to um, learn how to express, I guess. Because everyone has that duality within themselves. So maybe there's something to that that you could start exploring. Anything else? Gotcha, yeah, okay. Yeah, my in intuitive readings are pretty quick. <laughs> I tend not to mess around very much. Ten cards is a little... They, their placements have meaning, which is why it takes so long for me to kind of... Uh, kind of mesh the position plus the, the card together with intuitive... Intuitive, I just kind of place them down and sometimes I'll even like do this and like that and stuff so or like that you know <clears throat> lever of all things okay I'm honest so, yeah I'm more of a spiritual person I was drawn to that deck though when you j did one the other day yeah this this is an awesome deck um, I was drawn to it as well very strongly. Uh, probably my most used deck of all my cards. Uh, second only to this one, which is a newer deck, but I've still been enjoying it immensely because I want to show you some of the artwork in here. Jeez, Lord. See? And it's just very pretty. A little dark at times, but still kind of got that like... Kind of like how some of these cards are can be pretty dark but pretty positive at the same time. And that I like that part of, about it. And the, the fairy decks tend not to go towards the traditional major and minor, ar minor arcana. So that's also another thing that I liked about it. Yeah, it's... I mean... I mean, there can be negative aspects to um, pursuing something that might not be yours to pursue, so just make sure that you're not doing that. <laughs> and also, I think following, like, developing your spirituality a little bit more, or following that path a little bit more, might in turn kind of draw what you need to you. You can't spell. I can't spell you. I can't word either, which I have expressed many, 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 many times today already. <sighs> he is people not fond of him, but when you, as he puts it, saving his life kind of keeps a little part of you together. I get, yeah. 
I mean, everyone likes to be able to say you saved someone's life, but it can be stressful <laughs> to have that responsibility hoisted on you when it sh really shouldn't be your responsibility. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. It's not your responsibility to keep someone alive. You can only give them reasons to stay, really. Damn Skippy, Skippy it's stressful. <laughs> I take it you've been there, Damian. Yeah, okay. So it was a long distance thing, or is a long distance friendship. You're only lightly... That's okay, I'm kind of winding down anyway, so... This is a good way to wind down, too, doing a reading. Right. So this is the last chance for bits or subs to get a reading for tonight. Otherwise, I am going to look for someone to raid. Let's get... Yeah. I suppose you guys want to watch another... Uh, marbles. Or do you guys not care? There's also Freak Mister who is doing art, but he's got like 33 people, so let's, let's find a marbles person. Okay, let's see. Live channels. Let's go down the line. One viewer on the grind. Sim in a pan, serpent boss. Let's see. Who would be cool? Ninja Waffles. I like that name. Let's see if they're still streaming. Yeah, it looks like they're still streaming. Okay. Now let's turn off this music. Go back to Manager. Raid Channel. Ninja Waffles. We're going to raid Ninja Waffles. all for coming and playing marbles with me and thank you for letting me do a reading <laughs> it had to go to someone god damn it um hopefully i will remember to actually uh end my stream this time on like earlier <laughs> i left it on <laughs> so at the end of my other stream you'll see me just chowing down on some spaghetti <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bunny. Thank you, Serenity. Thank you, Damian. Thank you, everyone else. Damian, thank you for the subs. Um, <laughs> um, this is my chugs. Uh, and everyone else, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Serenity Sky, if you know who I'm talking about, if you see Poop Witch, make sure you yell at her for not coming. I told her that I would be streaming again. So, I don't know where she is. You know what? You know, maybe next Sunday. Maybe. Let's just let's just go raid him. Let's go. Let's go. 